Right, hi all. This is my uh, demo forward slash review of my Rickenbacker 4000 made in 1976. Uh, this is a great bass guitar, it sounds absolutely amazing. Um, there are some disadvantages, it's a little bit head heavy, so in order for it to sort of stay stable in one place, you're probably going to need a nice white leather strap like I have, uh, like I have here. But um, uh, occasionally you'll have to just readjust during during performance. So that's uh, one of the downsides of uh, this lovely bass guitar. The difference between this and the most common Rickenbackers is that this one only has one pickup, the bridge pickup, and uh, the other Rickenbackers, the 4003 and the 4001, they have two pickups, and the second pickup is the neck pickup. So, uh, so yeah, that's the main difference. And this particular model was discontinued by Rickenbacker in uh, 1984. So, a friend of mine asked me to do this uh, review, and uh, it's uh, mainly uh, with regards to the actual sound and the different uh, the different options for sound uh, for this bass. Uh, I have to say, there aren't many. It's uh, very much a, a one-trick pony, but what a trick it is. This bass sounds absolutely amazing, and I'm going to play the same bass line a few different sort of uh, with a few different variations, so you can hear the uh, the difference in sound. So here we go. This is tone corrector up to maximum, volume up to the maximum, and uh, here we go. Now I have to stress, this is completely clean, straight with a cable into my audio interface, no plugins, no uh, effects, nothing, just straight in. Now I'm going to turn the tone corrector down to zero and you're going to hear the difference. Here we go. Still sounds lovely. Um, and I'll play it with a pick. Rickenbacker sounds fantastic with a pick. Um, a few years ago, I was not really, until about a few years ago, I was not really a pick player, but since I bought this bass, uh, I've, I've really got into playing with a pick and uh, it sounds amazing. Check this out. That's badass. Now I'm going to do the same with the tone corrector down to zero. Here we go. Nice. Now, if you wanted it to have uh, much more of a modern sound on recording, what you can do is record it with uh, both pots up to max, straight in, sort of uh, clean channel, no effects, record the bass line, and then just scoop the EQ uh, on your... Uh, on your um, uh, DAW, for example, you know, I'm using Logic, so what I'll do is I'll just open the EQ and I'll scoop the middle, the middle frequencies, and I'll boost the t the the treble and the low in um, the, the low frequencies, which will make it sound very modern, almost uh, Pantera-like. One might say, you never know. <laughs> This is what it sounds like when you do that uh, EQ thing that I mentioned earlier. Well, uh, I hope you found this useful. Check my other videos out and leave some comments under this one if you find it interesting. Or if you want to say something rude, I don't mind. Ta!